So with Myriad Login Recorder, you also receive uh, free licenses to Myriad Logging Playback, enabling you to playback any of your recordings. And uh, this could be installed on various machines in the radio station. Might be used by your ad sales team to be able to playback ads down to people. Also competition entries and uh, companies taking part in competitions. So let's go about installing it. So you'll receive the application, double click on it to launch the install wizard and read through the license agreement. You can also print it off as well if you wish. When you're happy, you can click on that you accept the terms, click on install, the installation will begin. Once installed, click on finish. There's no licensing required and then we'll load up the application here. So this is the application. First of all, it's asking you to open a Myriad logging uh, catalog file. Or you can choose to open a database. Sure, we've saved ours all into database and we're actually running the database locally on here. So we're just going in with the local host. From there, it's uh, found the database and it's asking us which log we'd like to open. So we're going to open up Hot FM, which is our radio station here. Once you've opened it, this is the main user interface and it shows two days automatically, the view along the top, and then you can click in to zoom in a little further. You can see the red shows you areas and we can actually see that there's some audio, uh, well, some metadata included in the audio and also the reds for silence. That's where it's detected silenced. If we hover our mouse over the green items, we can see the now playing information and the red items, you can see where there's silence being detected. And the tooltip gives you details of what the metadata was. On the right hand side, you also get to see the actual time recorded. I'm going to play some audio here. Have a little listen to that. We just uh, bring up the bottom here. You can see all of our metadata listed here in the, and we've selected the, uh, the view. And you can choose to just show certain things. So here we're going to say, I just want to see the now playing information. And that enables us to look at the information we can double click, but we can also highlight all of those areas and we can add it to a compil compilation. So these could be all of our links, for example. It doesn't need to be the now playing information. And uh, so we can say with a pre and a post roll. And so that's added into our compilation and we can compile that compilation into one file. So here we're going to uh, combine all of those three things into one WAV file. And we're going to save it onto our desktop here. And that's our compilation finished. We go back in there, we could uh, select all of our silences. This could quite easily be a hardware line, which could be your mic live. So it captures all of your mic live. So these could be all of your links. You can see the start and end times of everything. And so if you were wanting to either make up a snoop tape to have a little listen back to all of your links, um, you could s select them all, add to compilation. But we actually need to clear out our compilation on the right hand side here. So we're going to click on that, which will empty the compilation. Go back and select all of our silences or could be your hardware lines for your mic live lights. For your mic live. We've added the compilation and then we will compile that into one WAV file. And so we're going to title this to be our links for the 6th of March. We can navigate around. We've got some various views. We can set an in point and an out point. So if we wish to export a certain area of our log, we can zoom in, nudge left, nudge right set our in, set our out points, and we can export that selection. We can also click 
and hit on play to hear that bit of audio playing out. meaning that you can easily navigate around the log and find the bits and the show times that you want. You also have the ability to search the logs. So here we are, we're searching a log for when I've played Van Morrison, which is taken off the metadata for both the now playing information that we're sending from Myriad Playout and also our DAB that we're sending uh, via OCP. And we can actually double click on that item to be taken directly to the Zob audio listen to it go back to our search we can have a look at another time we can also choose the event type as well Here's the details could be all our mic live times And so that's searching the log for certain elements. You can see here as we skip along, we can see all the songs that we played back to back. There was a little bit of silence in there, but that wasn't the silence. It's just a very um, slow and low end to one of the songs that we played. And so that is Myriad Logging Playback which you can install on any machine you want with the right access rights to the SQL database to be able to listen back to your audio and extract bits from your radio station.